For more than 150 years, grapes have been harvested in Australia. From the first commercial vineyard planted by explorer Gregory Blacksland in 1816, winemaking today has become a major Australian industry. The wines are judged following a tradition that goes back thousands of years. The wine taster has to take many factors into account when judging a particular vintage. The bouquet, its colour and transparency, the subtle variations in flavour and even the aftertaste. Just as you can't judge a book by its cover, neither it seems can you judge a wine by the expression on the judge's face. Each year, the vineyards of Australia produce around 40 million gallons of table wines for local and overseas markets. After a period of fermentation in tanks of up to 3,000 gallons capacity, the wine is finally decanted into oak casks to mature, a process that may take up to 10 years. The bottling process is almost entirely automatic, where once the wine was drawn off from casks by hand, complex machinery can now fill the bottles with a measured quantity of wine, cork them and apply the labels, all at speeds of up to 200 bottles a minute. Delicate electronic equipment keeping a minute check on the quality of every bottle that passes through the filling line. Packing is still done by hand, although this process too is now often automated. After bottling, champagne is placed in racks for a further period of maturation. The room is kept dark and the temperature carefully controlled. Some champagne is still bottled by traditional methods. Experts claim that this method avoids the jolting that the bottles get on the production line. And with certain vintages, the extra care is well worth taking. Wine from Australia commands a worldwide market. Each year, about two million gallons finds its way to the tables of countries all over the globe, boosting our overseas earnings by nearly four million dollars. But in spite of the huge resources behind this industry, the final say still lies with the wine taster. And his comment? Well, there's no accounting for tastes or tasters.